in No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Barbs here and welcome back to another video. So we're continuing off right where we left off yesterday. We're going to go ahead and uh, get back into it here. And see if we can't try and finish this field up in this episode. Uh, or at least very, very nearly finish it. I would love to finish it, but let's just see what we do for time here. Now we're going to pick up some of this little strip here just because we'll just uh till a little bit of this strip for a little ways till we get close to up top and then we'll jump over a pass or up to where they connect, I should say. I think after this season, we might, I might just uh, trade this in. In fact, I think even after this field, I might trade this John Deere in and get the uh, Landall uh, because it does plow, but it does also cultivate. So it might kind of clean up some of these field edges a little bit because like you can see there, that's grass. But it is plowable. So, um, you know, like if I ran a plow over it, it would plow it up. And then the land all it cultivates behind it. So, um, you know, it'll leave nice ground. So I think, uh, I think that might be the better option here than just a cultivator. Especially for this first round. But it would just be kind of nice overall. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. On a different map, I would probably say I'm not too worried about it. But with the way that these field edges are all kind of wonky. Um, I don't think it would hurt to do, but then again, maybe it wouldn't hurt to not do it. Kind of a horse apiece, I guess. All right. And yeah, I think we'll leave our season setting to six days for now. I don't really think that we need to go any any higher than that um, at the moment. Maybe once we start, you know, like when we get into running a lot more ground and also like when we get into animals and stuff and we need more time to do things, then maybe. But really, I mean, it... You can get a lot done in one in-game day. So, you know, six might be perfectly okay. But who knows, I guess. I mean, like, I have a save game on this map where I own every single field and I'm running, like, 
you know, two giant, two big, two of the largest big bud tractors. I'm running those with seed hawks on them. I'm running, you know, what am I running? Four combines. I got six grain carts. You know, I got just tons and tons of equipment. And so there I have my setting seasons, my season settings to nine day or no, I have them to 12 days on that, I think, because I'm going to need all of those days, I think, because like I've already got, I think I've got about, is it five hours into that save game or something like that already? Like I'm running four Landall uh, discs on all the fields. and. I mean, I've got, jeez, what do I got? I've got fields one, two, three, four, five, six done. And then I've got things on nine, 10, and 15. I've already got five hours in or something like that, or maybe seven. And then I've got planted, field one is fully planted, field two is fully planted. Uh, I think I just started field four, and then I'm working on field five or something like that as well. Uh, I, of course, play running all four land alls, and then I'm running one big bud with a seed hawk Well, of course, play runs the other. And then I've got two grain trucks. One's got seed in it, one's got fertilizer in it. You know, and whenever I need seed and fertilizer or whenever the, you know, other one on course play needs seed or fertilizer, you know, I tab over those trucks and run and do that. But, you know, it's, it's hectic. Um, you know, it is kind of neat, though. You know, I've got, like, all kinds of grain bins that I placed. And like I said, I got four combines, six grain carts. I've got eight semis uh, with hopper trailers. I've got four sprayers, four uh, spray tender trailers, obviously. Um, I'm running two Great Plains, you know, the Big Bud DLC Great Plains planner. Jeez, what else have I got? Um, I've got, let's see, I've got one of... Uh, I've got this cultivator, and then I've got this cultivator for cedars. What I've been talking about is I've got uh, two of these. I got two of those. You know, I got four of this combine. I got the 890, the 990, the 1090, and then the 1090 40 year uh, rotary, rotary. They've all got twin wheels on them. You know, it's just, it's insane. Maybe one day I'll do, like, a video on it, show you all the equipment. Maybe I'll do a video on it after everything's been planted and I'm starting in on spraying. And you guys can see all the crops or something like that. I, I mean, I've I've got it all figured out somewhere on one of these sheets of paper. Uh, oh, not this one. Oh, yeah, there we go. I actually have it on a Google Sheets document is where I have it. I have that app. So we'll go ahead and take a look here once we get turned around. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'll just bring up the PDA so you guys can all see what I'm talking about here. So in fields 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, uh, I'm planting wheat. That's why, like, I'm doing the plowing slash cultivating in, um, you know, along with the way that I have crops planted or will be planting crops. 
and like in the order I'm going to be planting them. Um, 20, where are we at? 20, 21, 22, 20, 9, 30, and 31. So this entire section here is all going to be soybeans. Uh, 26, 27, and 28 are all going to be sunflowers. Uh, 13, where we got that at here? Let's see, 13, 14, 23, 24, and 25. That's this section here. This entire section is all going to be Milo. Uh, 7, 8, 11, 12, and 32. Uh, 12 being hidden down there a little bit. That's all going to be corn. 9, 10, 15, and 33 is all going to be oats. Um, that's why I have the land all is running on 9, 10, and 15. Uh, I only have three of those. I don't have four. I don't know why I said I have four, but I only have three. Um, and then 16, 17, 18, and 19 are going to be rye. So in total, I'm running 2,624.4 acres or 1,062.06 hectares. So in wheat, I've got 446.57 acres. Soybeans are 603.2 acres. Sunflower is 318.62 acres. Milo is 455.51 acres. Corn is 192.54 acres. Oats is 299.12 acres. Rye is 308.83 acres. So Milo covers the most amount of ground. And then wheat covers the second most. Yeah, so there's a whole lot of land there. You know, in real life, you know, to some people, 2,000 may not be a lot. You know, like um, my papa and his brother, they ran a little over 3,000 acres together, you know, and when you think about it in real life, that probably doesn't really seem like a whole lot, but when you think about it in farm sim, that's a whole lot of, that's a whole lot of time there. Um, uh, I really, I haven't really been doing much on that save game lately. I started up another one on, uh, Central Valley where, um, I'm doing like animals, and so I've been kind of playing on that one a little bit. But most of the time, I'm on this save game because uh, I'm doing recordings and whatnot. We actually are going to be getting to uh, plant this episode, which will be nice. Um, I did not look. Did we buy a pickup? No, we did not. We need to buy a pickup and a seed tender. Or maybe some pallets. Oh, no, pallets. I don't have a different seed tent. But... That's a big semi. I don't really want to buy that one. I think that'd be kind of overkill. Hmm. Because I don't want to have to, like, always be driving back to the farm. Oops. To, uh... Get seed. I think... We'll just get this, and we'll get a pickup. Man, we're going to need to get it, get it in the end anyways. And we do need a pickup, so. What color do we want this in? I think this light blue might be kind of neat. We'll do chrome wheels. And we'll go ahead and get that uh, reset. 
back to the farm so that way we can whoa looks like a smurf <laughs> um, then we can use this here oh I took that way too sharp And we can use this to uh, tend our seed to our Great Plains. Hmm. So it only allows you to manually attach certain items. Okay. Whoa, is that actually small? Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah, so we'll be able to get started on our planting. That's going to be awesome. So, field 33, we'll start out with our oats. Let's see, the man Deco does spare. With this machine, uh -oh. that might not be what I want. But it isn't sprayers. Okay, we'll just have to test it out on like a field that we don't own. Just to try it and make sure that it is going to fertilize, not plant grass. I know when it, when uh, LBJ modding first converted it over, it was, you know, it basically put down grass. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he fixed that and put it back to it being like a fertilizer spreader sprayer. You know, I mean, it's in the sprayers category, but. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. I haven't used it yet. So I wish I could zoom in just a little bit farther and see inside of this hood here. You can see right through it looking up. Wish I could see inside of it, but. Um, so we're going to go ahead and calculate a field path here, or field to edge. We're in this field because we might as well. So then, the next field we can do is field ten, then field eleven, then field seven. The only reason I'm doing them in that order is because those are the fields that we can plant right now. So I'd wanna, I'd rather have those done first, then do the sunflower and soybean fields, and. You know, since we don't have to worry about planting those right now. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and make a course for this field. At nine meters. We'll set that to eight and a half at eight meters. What is my GPS set to? 8.5? Okay, that'll be fine. Uh, starting corner, we'll put the south. East, heading west. Uh, yeah, southeast, heading west, and then we'll put down two headlands. Okay, that's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and we will save that as F33. Thirty foot 
Okay, I don't want all these courses. I don't know why they're all in here. These are all courses from my uh, big time operations save game. So, not entirely sure why they're all in there. New folder. Uh, we're going to name this 30 foot 2623. I decided that I'm going to start naming my folders not by the field names, but by the machine. Because uh, then, I don't know, I'm, I mean, it's not going to be any less of a hassle to find what you're looking for. Because you still got to find the field name, but or the field number. But you're not looking for, like, through, you know, tons and tons of field numbers all the same to find the machine that you're looking for. You can find, you know, you can find the field number a little bit easier in the machine section. So we're going to go ahead and set it up for field 10. We're going to do the uh, northwest heading east. We'll do the two headlands. Uh, we'll get a field edge path recorded as soon as we get over to it, and then we can get the rest of the course set up and get this guy rolling, and then, uh, then we can Get to working on uh, get to working on our planting. All right, and here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drive through this person's yard a little bit. Or these people's yards. I should say there's two houses there. Or turn on our hazards and our beacons just because. So hopefully with having a few days of 50 degree temperatures and then I'm getting into 60s and 70s, <coughs> hopefully it'll warm up the ground and then we can uh, get into our bean, bean and flower ground sooner. All right, we can shut this stuff off now. This is field 10, correct? Yes. Calculate that edge path. We'll write it. Okay. And there it is, our starting point. That. All right. F10, 30 foot, 26, 23. Get that saved. We'll get it dropped up into its folder and we're going to set him to the first waypoint. Wait for autosave. And then it can uh can send it on its way. Yes. Hot there. Okay. We're going to go ahead. We're going to head out. We need oats. That's oats, right? Yes, that's what I thought. All right. We'll go ahead and head on up here to our field. We can go out this way, I guess, too. One thing that I noticed is when you fill it, this with seed, it shows that it's full of fertilizer. But then it says that it is a seeds as the crop type. 
But then, like, and another thing, like, the fill planes stay. They don't go down when the planter gets empty. They just fill up the first time that you fill the planter, and then that's it. Uh, I do need to message LBJ about that, because uh, he did say, let me know of any issues. And it's not a huge issue or anything like that, by any means, but just something to, uh, oh, dang, I knew I was going to do that. Just something to take into consideration, I guess. Might be pretty close to lined up. Just a little bit off yet. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get this stuff all shut off right away. We want to crank this down to about, we'll go down to about 10. Leave it sit right there. Definitely wish I could go a little bit faster with this planter, but just means that the uh, cultivator will have no problem staying ahead of us. I don't know why uh, Blue Web made these edges so, like, jagged and odd. Kind of strange. There's definitely one beauty of a tractor here. This planter gets dirty so fast with uh, dirt set to fast. I don't know what its uh, dirt setting is. I don't know if this tractor has dirt on it or not. I don't know if I looked at it in Giants Editor or not when I downloaded it. Normally, excuse me, normally that's what I do. Oh, it's got the uh, monitor. I believe that monitor is for the um, applicators. There's the uh, large toolbar. Have not used that one yet. Just uh, actually just downloaded it here yesterday, I believe. Uh, yesterday for me, of course. So on uh, Wednesday, the 26th, as you can see, got the date and time up there.
So it looks like this planter is going to pick up these little odd spots along the edge here. All right. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.